What's going on my Turner Club? We officially have remote raid invites live in Pokemon Go, so we are gonna do everything we need to do to make sure you guys understand exactly how it goes and to make sure we break down all the details. So welcome to the Trainer Club, here we go! Welcome back everybody. Let me know in the comments below, have you tried out the remote rate invite system in Pokemon Go because it is officially live. The first thing that you do need to know is that you have to have remote rate invite passes in order to do it. It cannot be used as regular raid passes. It is going to be remote raid passes. And so we're gonna start off today with doing it from a friend from my Discord. So I'm excited about this. The first thing that you do need to do, obviously, is go into your friends list and you need to switch on your online status. So if you click on that little guy up in the top left corner, it's gonna be offline and then online. And then you can search through all of your online friends to be able to see who is there. So look in the bottom right corner, it's gonna highlight in gold, which means somebody has remote raid invited me from Rachel, and that's gonna be in Texas right now, I do believe Fort Worth, Texas is where she is. So we are gonna get after this. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in this, and I'm gonna go ahead and join the lobby. 25 seconds remaining, I have Rachel in there, Matt in there, and then myself in there as well. So we're literally standing in the street, but we are raiding in Fort Worth, Texas. So this is really cool because if you guys do have international friends and Mesprit and Yuxi come back out, guess what guys? You can be invited from people in the other things unless they lock it out, which could happen. But if they don't lock it out, we're literally in Fort Worth, Texas, but we're in Illinois right now. So I'm excited about this. This is cool. Really, really cool. Pretty easy to do. You just have to be really conscious of what is going on because you have to see the timing because it will tell you guys like how much time you have left. We will go over all that details, but it's basically just get invited to a raid and we're gonna go out after this and we're gonna invite somebody to a raid so you guys do have the details. So the number one thing is you need to have remote raid passes. You cannot use regular passes. And then we will check out after we're done with this Pokemon, is it gonna be caught in Texas? Or since I'm in Illinois, is that Pokemon gonna be location stamped to Illinois? We have five people in there. There is a five people limit to the invites. And then we're also gonna test out, can we do it for low level friendship? Is there any friendship level requirements as well? I'm basically here to answer all your questions, make sure that we catch the Curum, and I'm gonna sit down real quick because I don't have my tripod once again. So when we have this Curum done, we are going to need to catch it and I can't hold a camera and catch it at the same time. So we're now in with the Dialga right here and boom. And so Matt, that is in here as well, also in my Discord, Patreon member, is actually in Tennessee. So we have me in Illinois, Matt's in Tennessee, and we're gonna bump up on all our friendships 2004. So 2042 is 100% IV. So we'll go ahead and catch this guy together. And we do wanna catch it together because we wanna see the location stamp as I just talked about. All right, excellent throw right there. Let's see if we're gonna catch this one. Okay, I think that that's not the one. Yeah, it was too, too segmented. Usually when it's a little more fluid, I think that there's a slight, slight differential in the ball, the way it spins when you're gonna catch it. It's a little bit more fluid when you have caught it as opposed to the very hard roll of the ball once you do not catch it. So I'll try to predict the one that we catch. This is the one. There it is. I could tell the difference. It goes, it like, twirls really hard when it is not. So this one caught Fort Worth, Texas, 2004. So just that alone is gonna show that when Yuxi and Mesprit come out, if you do have international friends, you can get into it. And so look at right here. So this one's still up, zero seconds, it does give you that. And then it does go ahead and tell you Fort Worth, Texas with your friend right there. And so if I go ahead and click into that raid, if I were to have dropped out, it would go ahead and do that. I wonder if I can spin this stop. Nope, I can't, I'm too far away. So it has completed, so it does show that if you have the ability to go into that and you still need to catch that Pokemon, you can go ahead and do so. So guys, if you don't have any friends that can invite you to raids, this is a great time to get into my Discord that's gonna be in the pinned comments below to make sure you guys are ready to go. So now we're gonna go out and we're gonna find ourselves a remote raid and then we're gonna invite some people. So let's go do that right now. And we are now gonna do some remote raid invites to people right now. But first, let's shiny check this little cluster right here, we have a couple decent shiny potentials, so we might as well hopefully put a shiny into the video. Was that a Larvitar? That is a Larvitar. Wow, all right. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this. That's a 
a 946. You guys ready for the one-handed quick catch right there? Up. Oh, all right, try that again. All right, not that one. Pretend like you didn't see either of those. There we go. That should uh, catch that larvitar. We'll go ahead and catch one and two. Okay, no shinies here. We are now gonna go ahead and invite people. So look at that. We have the real join the remote raid pass once the battle starts, so that's good. I've already told my Discord members that I'm gonna go ahead and invite them, so now I am in the raid, and look, we have the invite. So we can invite up to five friends. So I'm gonna go ahead and search through my TTC friends, which is the trainer club. So I'm gonna go ahead and invite King Valor, that's gonna go ahead and come in. We have Oracle is gonna come in. Let's see, who else? We have Matthew, Viator is already in there, okay. Invite five friends. It's that simple. <laughs> Just had to go ahead and get and sift through it, so we did invite them. All right, so we have a couple people joining in here. Okay, so once you do invite those people, even if they can't join, you cannot do it again. So it says, you've reached the maximum number of invitations you can send for a while. Please try again later. All right, well, we have four. <laughs> We're going with it. It's not the most fluid thing with the invites with only having a two minute countdown timer. So it, you have to be really strategically planned. That person has to be basically waiting for you to send that invite. You have to communicate. That's why getting in my Discord is super powerful. So we're gonna go in here with four people and I'm the only person here in person. Rachel's in Texas. Matt is gonna be in Tennessee, and then we have Randy. I do believe he's in Pennsylvania. So we're from all over the place. We're all best friends. We're getting best friend boosted bonus, and there is no damage buff right now. So we'll take this down relatively quickly. I'm assuming that in the future, we probably will have that damage buff, but you can battle from home. Like I said, guys, the first one I was battling from home, but all of them had to have remote raid passes to be able to get into this raid, and I can do it with my regular pass sitting right here. So it also does look that friendship doesn't really matter necessarily. So there is a little bit of a glitch trying to get into the raids, but it is also pretty effective. Like it's already worked pretty well for me. I haven't had the glitch. And then Rachel reported that she invited somebody to a raid that they became friends yesterday and that it worked for the previous raid that we just did. So. As far as raid friendship, it doesn't look like it matters. There's no damage debuff. If you're in person, you just need a regular raid pass. The raid passes now do not count until the actual raid starts, so it gives you a good leeway to try to get this system figured out. Once you send the five raid invites, you cannot resend if somebody doesn't join. So you need to know who is ready and available to join that raid at that time. And if you do, you can back out and then resend them if somebody isn't able to join during that time frame or they didn't get your remote raid invites. And this one will be stamped to Naperville and then theirs will also be stamped to Naperville as well. So you gotta get your international friends, guys. This is amazing because you can also raid and you can play in your area and then you can get those legendaries and then you can trade them to other friends in this area. So like I have the Franklin, Tennessee, I have the Texas one. Those ones are over 100 kilometers. I can go ahead and trade those to people in Naperville and get three Q candy if that's what I decide to do right now. So I don't know what the CP is on this one. We have a 1989. We'll go ahead and catch this one together. Obviously the communication is super crucial so you guys need to be in my discord ready to go so you guys can be communicating with people. You can have your friends set up and ready to go so that's definitely important as well. And then remote raid passes are crucial. You don't want to have to back out and see that and then also in that friendship like we talked about it does show the amount of time remaining for that remote raid invite so this was really good really simple straightforward the plus sign is right there all your online friends you have to toggle that online to be able to be invited if you don't want to be invited just keep the toggle off it's going to really help out everybody who is a rural player and doesn't have the access to be able to do raids and I've already raided with some people all around the country today as well. Nobody around the world yet. I'm excited to do a raid in Australia. We do have a recap in Australia that's in the Discord as well. So all my Patreons that are high tiered levels will have access to raid with me quite frequently. So this is exciting guys. It's like unlimited potential to do raids. And then here's the other thing that when somebody could be in a location that's still doing raids and you can't, I think theoretically you could be invited to a raid after hours, right? Because they would be, and maybe it's midnight where they're at and you're not at midnight or they're across the world or whatever that is, you could invite that person. You can continue to raid after your raid cutoff time, which is also really cool. And we just caught that without a uh, 
excellent throw or anything right there. So that's the QRM right there. That's gonna be stamped to Naperville. All right, so we just got invited to a raid and actually the notifications do pop up. Look, it's gonna count down on the timer right there to see how many seconds are left. I'm gonna go ahead and click into this. It does look like some people are reporting a little bit glitchiness, which is, see, like that right there. I can't get into that raid for some reason. We'll try again. Still can't get into that raid, but it did pop up and give us that notification. Go ahead, there's only 11 seconds in here. I, I can't get in. So there's definitely gonna be some work. That's why it's only level 40 trainers, but this is the system. It's amazing. It's gonna start working well soon. They're gonna iron out all these bugs and we're gonna have a ton of fun. So we just did get an invite from Reversal and I was having that same glitch. So I went ahead and restarted my game. We'll see if this is gonna fix the glitch right now. Does it fix it? It does fix the glitch if you go ahead and restart it. So I am going to be raiding. It's gonna be a fun time. We should be able to beat it pretty easily. Have some pretty strong trainers in here, I'm sure. I still wanna max out some more Metagrosses. I don't know, these shinies are dope. I don't even care, like, we'll, we'll max some more. I wanna go ahead and, my, my little mini masher, put in my mini. Boom, I think I got it in there. So we have fully maxed out Metagrosses. We are gonna be now raiding, I believe, in the Netherlands, which is gonna be cool. If you guys do get the glitch where you can't join, it says it's out of range. What I found is you just restart the game, that works. And then the other thing is, it looks like if you back out, you have to put another pass in right now, which I just did. Not that big of a deal right now, but over the longevity of this remote rating, that's definitely gonna be fixed. It's gotta get fixed. So we'll just go ahead and take down this Curum and then we'll go ahead and catch it. And this is gonna be a Netherlands Pokemon for me. Okay, so with four trainers, we're gonna beat it in 170 seconds. So we definitely could have duoed it with one of those other trainers for sure. This is gonna go down. Now we're gonna catch another QRM and I do believe that I am, so that's a 2011, man, that would have been an epic, epic, epic 100% IV or something good quality to be able to get, especially since it's gonna be from, uh, the Netherlands, we'll go ahead and bury this. 14 balls, it's amazing because when you do get raid invites, that these people are usually friends of yours, so you do get the ball bonus. Go ahead and catch that one right there. Epic stuff, epic stuff. Let's go ahead and bring this home and get that location stamp all the way in another country, and we'll see how this works out. This is what I'm very curious about for the Mesprit, Uxie, as well as the Azelf, because when those guys come out, unless they get locked out, which I don't know if that would be a thing, you can invite people to those raids across the world, right? So I can invite people to Azelfs over here, which for GoFest, oh man, what if they do that? Then the Discord becomes even more valuable because there are trainers in there from all over the world. Here we go. Boom, back to the excellent throws. Don't lose faith. We got this. We got this. There it is. Let's go. All right, let's see the location stamp. Let's see the location stamp. Ah, the Netherlands reversal. Shout out to Geo. Can we get a shiny? We can't. So the recap, you have to have remote raid passes to join somebody else's invite. You're going to get the invite in the bottom right corner of the screen. It's gonna light up gold, and then you're gonna go over here to check out the raids. And then once you check out those raids, you're gonna go ahead and join that raid with that remote raid invite. In person is all you have to do is get to the raid, invite your friends, you can only invite five. It doesn't count by who is in the raid, it counts by who has been invited. So once you invite five, if all those people can't join or don't join, you're gonna have to back everybody out and go back in. So that's why it's probably effective to have one or two other people with you here in person and then all of you guys can invite people externally for a total of five. So I hope that helps guys, I hope you guys are ready for this. Level 40 trainers right now, it's definitely gonna start rolling out to all the lower tiered level trainers as we make sure there are no glitches. So thank you guys for tuning in. All my likers, commenters, subscribers, Patreon members, everybody takes their support, subscription, and participation to the next level. I'm going to see you guys out on the next video. Peace. I just want to take a moment and sincerely thank all of my Patreon members, everybody that has taken their subscription to the next level and chosen to support me on this platform. I greatly appreciate you guys as a growing channel and really trying to grow and improve as much as I possibly can. I really appreciate the extra support. You guys mean the absolute world to me. I cannot wait to connect with you soon and I appreciate you guys all for being a part of the Trainer Club. I will see you guys out on that next video.